Hello friends, today we made an extension switchboard. To test it, I connected an LED bulb, switched it on and it's working perfectly. Now let's start the making. For this we need a 110mm PVC pipe and from this pipe we will prepare the parts of our extension board as you can see in the video. In the same way, we have to prepare a PVC panel. After that we will place three switches on the upper part by making holes according to their size. So we need to make holes like this and after that we will apply spray paint on it. Now it's time to fix our switches onto the upper part of the extension board. For this we carefully place each switch in its proper slot and from the back side we use a screwdriver to tighten them securely. This step is very important because if the switches are not fitted properly they may become loose. Before we dive into the video I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor Altium 365. If you're into PCB designing this is the ultimate cloud-based platform you've been waiting for. With Altium 365 real-time collaboration becomes effortless. Whether you're working alone or with a team spread across the globe, you can seamlessly share, review and co-edit your PCB designs anytime, anywhere. No more messy emails or version issues. Stay synced and focused in one simple workspace. And if you're a student, there's something even better for you. Check out Altium Student Lab. You get free access to both Altium Designer and Altium 365 simply with your university email. Start collaborating with classmates, work on real-world projects, earn industry-recognized certificates, and seriously boost your career potential, all before you even graduate. So if you're ready to take your PCB design workflow to the next level, whether you're a pro or just starting out, click the link in the description below and get started with Altium 365 today. So friends, now let's do the wiring. We've brought the wires and the connection is very simple, as you can see here. After placing the blue wire, we need to tighten it properly with the help of a screwdriver. Now it's time to bring the red wire. This wire will be connected to the ON or FF switch of the circuit because it is used to control the power supply. By attaching it here, we can easily turn the extension board ON or OFF whenever needed. Next, we bring another blue wire and connect it to the top of the switch. After fixing this wire, we also attach the main cable to complete the connection. Friends, you need to check this connection very carefully because this is the main wire and its connection must be done properly for safety. After connecting the wires, we use a soldering iron to secure them properly so that no loose points are left in the circuit. In this way, we prepare the body parts of the extension and then join them together using super glue. So our part is now completely prepared and ready. As you can see, it has taken proper shape after assembly and all the joints are fixed firmly. In the middle, we need to make a hole and through this hole, the main wire will be connected to the circuit. After placing the wire, we can also secure it tightly using a tie or even fix it with the help of a glue gun for extra strength. We pass the main wire through the hole. After pulling out the wire, we need to fix it properly in its place. Once it is set correctly and after fixing it firmly in place, we need to hold it securely by applying super glue properly. So with this, all the wiring work is completed. After fixing the wires, we also need to cover the backside properly to ensure everything is sealed neatly and safely. After covering it, we also need to apply super glue properly on the surface. This step is important because it keeps all the parts firmly in place. Now it's time to bring a 3-pin plug and connect it to the main wire. For this, we carefully place each wire in its proper terminal and then tighten the screws firmly with the help of a screwdriver. This step is important to ensure the plug is fitted securely and the connection remains safe while using the extension board. So here we have completed the wiring very very neatly and carefully. As you can see, the extension board is now looking quite premium in design and also feels very strong in build quality. With proper connections and a solid finish, it not only works efficiently but also gives a professional look, just like a ready-made product. The switch used here is of very good quality. So friends, now let's move towards testing. I plug it into the socket and as you can see, the light on the switch is glowing perfectly. Here the extension board is working really well. To double check, I tested it with the help of a tester. And as you can see, the tester light is also glowing perfectly. This clearly shows that all of our connections are correct and secure. With everything working smoothly, we can be confident that the extension board is safe, reliable and ready for daily use. I will continue to make more videos like this in the future. Friends, let me know in the comments how you like this project and today's video. Your feedback is to to the channel. Remember to any of my upcoming experiments. I'll see you all in the next video. Till then, goodbye friends and take care.